Sean has always been that determined individual who listens to all points of view, who tries to get the best answer all the time. Sean had done more by 35 years old than most people do in a lifetime. He's a superb individual, one of the finest uh, public servants I've ever known. He has tremendous capabilities, uh, great integrity. The first day I arrived on this campus in 1977, as a graduate student, I had never been upstate New York. I had no idea what was in this area. I could have only dimly imagined what would unfold from that stage. And it's, so much of it has been central to the experience of Syracuse University and the Maxwell School. Sean and I have known each other for over 20 years. I had the great good fortune to uh, ask him to be the comptroller of the Department of Defense when I became secretary in 1989. In my time as chairman working very closely with him, we became exceptionally close friends because he helped me and I helped him. And Sean knows that a good leader helps everybody and not just the guy above you. When he was asked to become the Secretary of Navy, it was because the Navy needed some strong guidance at that very critical point. An incident known as Tailhook that shook the foundation of the Naval Service culture. It was about people, and it was about individuals who were harmed and accosted. We know that the larger issue is a cultural problem which has allowed the meaning behavior and attitudes toward women to exist within the Navy Department. Over the past two and a half months, the Navy Department has pursued an aggressive campaign to address this issue. The opportunity to come back to the Maxwell School years later to then join the faculty was a dream come true. He always took on extra courses, extra work with the students. He was always there. And it translated into him giving really 150%. That uh, was probably one of the most significant stages of my personal and professional life. My kids were all uh, much younger in grade school. We lived here when I was a little kid, and every opportunity we had, we'd come to the basketball game, the football game here. His love of this area initially made me Ever since I was about 10 years old, want to come to Syracuse. Syracuse has always been a really special place for my dad. Even after we moved away, we kept coming back to visit, you know, friends and family. And Kevin's here for undergrad, and I'm here for graduate school. I hate to say there's a cone of chaos around Sean, but he does have a lot of experience with crisis, and he has a very even keel when things are going wrong. So people immediately trust him and look to him for leadership. Thank God for people like O'Keefe who, you know, the forest is on fire, but they're not running around and screaming, jumping out of windows. That doesn't serve the Republic very well. Never, ever be surprised when the initial information you perceive turns out to be incomplete, inaccurate, or just flat wrong. And so don't operate instinctively on the first elements of what you see that emerge from a crisis. Columbia was crossing the western part of the United States when they stopped answering radio calls. So I knew something was wrong. Sean is standing on the platform at NASA with the families of the astronauts waiting for the space shuttle to land. And they're waiting and they're waiting and then he gets the word that it has exploded. This is indeed a tragic day for the NASA family, for the families of the astronauts who flew on STS-107, and likewise tragic for the nation. The objective that we adopted the day that occurred was to find out what happened, go fix it, and then rededicate ourselves towards the very objective they had committed their lives to doing. This is what the astronauts would have wanted us to do. Um, pull yourself out of the sad period of accident recovery and start fixing things and get the shuttle flying again. Our country's mission is to build the space station. He provided that leadership in that period to get us out of the accident. I had the great good privilege to go back to my home state of Louisiana and to be the chancellor of Louisiana State University. And then the nation faces probably the largest scope disaster it's ever faced. The LSU campus became a major base of operations for the emergency response. And our contributions at LSU during that really critical period of months after Hurricane Katrina hit was in many respects the ultimate in public service. Bringing people in, treating folks in medical facilities, working through folks whose lives had been completely changed. And I do think it mattered that it was his home, but it was everybody's home when that happened. And I think Sean understood 
fundamentally the scope of what Katrina meant to the nation. August 9th of 2010, a tragic plane car crash in Alaska that my son and I miraculously survived. Sometimes I can't believe that it actually happened. One minute we were having a good time and the next minute we just like insane situation occurred and kind of shocking, but you know, we got through it. Surviving through that experience reminded you how not only fragile life is, uh, but how random it can sometimes be in terms of why. I lived through it, how I, I had the experience of surviving, whereas other great friends did not. He's become even more of an optimist. It feels like he's on added time, bonus time that we may not have had. And just like cherishing the life he has, I guess, more. Sean is so deserving of this award. It's so appropriate of his alma mater, Syracuse University, to recognize him in this way. And I offer to my buddy uh, my sincerest congratulations. And Sean, now that you're fully recovered again, my friend, I look forward to seeing you in the near future. I think Sean can do anything he wants to do. He can go anywhere he wants to go. And my hope is that we can lure him back to Syracuse University. Whatever modest level of success I've attained has all been just remembering a constant motivation, which is you never know what you can do until you try. And if along the way it's not successful, that's an experience too. That's something you learn from as well.